The James Webb Space Telescope made contact with a very mysterious and possibly alien object from outer space. This mystic and oddly object has never seen before. The James Webb Space Telescope is gearing up to be one of humanity's most important space observation feeds. The world of science has huge hopes for this space telescope because it is significantly more powerful than any previous space observatory ever deployed by mankind. It will allow scientists to investigate far-off objects in space in ways that they have never been able to before. The first verified interstellar object named Oumuamua which traveled through our solar system in 2017 is one of the objects that NASA scientists are most thrilled to explore. Scientists want to know if Oumuamua was an extraterrestrial spaceship and if this comet flying object came from another planet. Welcome to Space News Unfold, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and stay till the end of this video because we are going to talk about the James Webb Telescope's discovery of the real origin of Oumuamua, so let's dive in. Space is vast, and even traveling at the speed of light across such great distances can take hundreds, if not millions of years. The Voyager 1 which has flown a staggering 23 billion kilometers is the furthest that any human-made item has traveled. This is still merely 0.002 light years away. Even if an asteroid achieves just 1% of the speed of light it would take about 440 light years to travel from the closest star Alpha Centauri, but as you are aware nothing is impossible in this universe of infinite possibilities. On October 19 of 2017 scientists at NASA's observatory in Hawaii spotted something bizarre and unheard of for the first time. A giant boulder that is not a regular asteroid, does not even look like a normal comet. Comets are small icy bodies that develop tails made of volatile materials that vaporize off the comet's body from the heat of the sun. The physics of this strange rock completely blew the minds of scientists and compelled them to check and recheck the data time and time again. The trajectory of Oumuamua was puzzling to scientists, according to their estimates it was actually standing still before entering the solar system as if waiting for something. This is unusual for an asteroid that should have been moving across intergalactic space at a rapid rate. It behaved as if it was powered by some internal power source. Five days later on October 22, NASA had enough data to conclude that this exotic object wasn't from our solar system and was indeed an interstellar object hurtling through space. Is Oumuamua an alien spaceship and is it connected to all the UFO sightseeings leaked by the FBI? This was enough to give birth to many conspiracy theories among ufologists, who claimed that this object was nothing but an extraterrestrial technological object sent to our solar system for observational purposes. Some people believe that it was some sort of highly evolved alien laser sail and that it is a probe driven by the propulsive radiation of the same starlight. Other people like to go even further and claim that Oumuamua might have left trackers behind to watch the Earth and our activities. Although NASA has never acknowledged that Oumuamua was an alien spacecraft, it has also never denied it, leaving a big question mark in the minds of many. Oumuamua is currently around the planet Neptune and is traveling at a blistering speed of about 5.5 astronomical units per year. This speed is much faster than anything we've ever sent into space, and the challenge of sending a spacecraft to catch Oumuamua pushes the current envelope of space exploration to the limit. Some experts think that this velocity was achieved by Oumuamua during its birth someplace far away in another star system or nebula. Maybe as a result of a catastrophic collision between an exoplanet and another cosmic object. The collision's massive explosive energy hurled Oumuamua into space, it might also have been a supernova explosion, as a star nears the end of its life cycle it becomes a red giant which is an inflated form of the star hundreds of times larger before shrinking and exploding violently. The blast waves may travel several light years from the center since it's one of the brightest explosions in the cosmos, so it's possible that this supernova rips some exoplanets apart. Oumuamua being one of them, might have gained a lot of energy and speed to start its long journey towards the Earth, this might explain why Oumuamua continues to spin so wildly. This interplanetary asteroid may have wandered the cosmos for 500 million years before finally arriving in our solar system in 2017, 
sending some form of a probe to this strange object will undoubtedly expose the secrets scientists have even devised. Project Lyra's mission's goal is to deploy a probe to Oumuamua and other interstellar objects before they reach too far away. Around the year 2050, these probes will approach the rock and transmit data that will be utilized to examine its composition. But it looks like the mystery that was dismissed and disregarded has finally gained traction after the disposal of the new $10 billion space gadget. The Hubble Space Telescope is one of the most famous and powerful, having reliably given spectacular photographs of various regions of the universe for decades. The James Webb Telescope on the other hand is far more powerful and costly than the Hubble Telescope. The JWST is also a long way distant from the Hubble Space Telescope, the former orbits the Earth at a distance of around 350 miles while the latter spins around the Sun at a distance of approximately 1 million miles. So NASA won't be able to send people to fix or reprogram, the James Webb Telescope's larger main mirror which spans 6.5 meters wide allows it to catch things billions of light years away, thereby bringing us back in time. In fact, because we can now reach as close to the Big Bang as possible, the James Webb Telescope will allow us to snap infant images of the universe. The new telescope uses infrared to pick up signals from heat-emitting objects many miles away. NASA has installed a shield beneath the telescope to protect it from the influence of the sun and the Earth's heat. The James Webb Space Telescope is really a game-changer, interstellar objects such as Oumuamua have never been seen in the ranges of near and mid-infrared wavelengths so the possibility of finding something strange is highly profound. Our whole knowledge of the cosmos and how everything interacts with each other will be altered as a result of this research. The concepts will be confusing and difficult to grasp at first, but they may later assist us in comprehending new concepts such as how quickly humans can travel between solar systems. We could also potentially learn the secrets of dead alien planets and how feasible interstellar travel actually is ultimately answering the question of whether we are alone in the universe, although this is a whole new topic. Currently the sensors on board make it supremely sensitive and can ultimately power the telescope to investigate the chemical composition of these objects like Oumuamua, this would mean that if an interstellar object is found to contain valuable resources, it could start a whole new industry of asteroid mining. Where they come from, what led to their creation and what the conditions were in their home systems are some of the questions that can also finally be answered. We do have the drive, ambition and motivation once we're able to observe more interstellar objects. It will be easier to identify them, and it may also be easier to study them. There are still a lot of secrets out there in the galaxy, and who knows what we might find. What are your thoughts on this? What do you think Oumuamua is? And can we discover it to be a highly advanced extraterrestrial spaceship? Share your thoughts with us in the comments. Thanks for watching, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next Space News Unfold.